Hello Grower owners uh, out there. Um, I want to give you a short update about some recent uh, updates on my setup here. So as you might have seen, I have a really wild looking cabinet uh, here, which uh, is constantly open. Um, yeah, this is not really um, like it should be, but um, I'm working on that at the moment and um, some of you might have uh, seen this kind of transfer switch from eTech. It's a type EK2R 2P100. So it's a 100 amp uh, rated uh, transfer switch. It was not super expensive. Um, I had a review of this before and I uh, was struggling a lot to get it uh, into my um, yeah, running running home circuit, but um, I'm quite happy with that, I have to say, yeah. And why I'm happy with that? Because it gives me some, some uh, safety backup opportunities, which I did not have until today, um, only with the GrowWatts. Yeah, so um, maybe let's jump in. Um, so what, what did I do with these kind of... Uh, with this kind of transfer switch, um, there up there you can see two poles. And um, some of you might ask, yeah, why why there are only two poles? Well, what are you doing there? Um, I can give you a short background. My complete house is powered by uh, one phase. Yeah, so the whole whole house electricity is really um, made for for sub for for one phase power supply. Yeah, so. That's why I only have two contacts here and um, you can get these kind of transfer switches with three phase set for three phase setups. Um, there are then four connectors, so three phases and one uh, neutral wire and uh, the same below here and the same on the output, which is down there. I hope you can see it. Yeah. Um, yeah. So. Long story short, I have a two uh, pole setup here. So, uh, and um, yeah, let me shortly explain what ha what's happening here uh, when I when we are going for testing uh, in a few seconds or minutes. So I have two poles here. This is my incoming power from uh, both of the inverters. So this is uh, AC. This is connected to the AC out of the of the inverters. Yeah. This contact down here is connected to the grid. Um, don't be, don't let you disturb from these kind of uh, signs. There are se several uh, versions of this transfer switch available. Um, you can order these also with solar uh, and grid um, marked here, but uh, basically it's the same. There's only the labeling different. What I will do later on when everything is done and, and like I want it to be, I will make a label here, PV or photovoltaic and here grid. Yeah, okay. And then you have a third uh, a pair of poles. This is down here. Maybe you can see it. Let me see here. This is the output, yeah? So what is this transfer switch doing? This transfer switch um, makes it possible to switch within a few milliseconds from one source to the other. Yeah. And I tried that right now in the last two or three days, uh, several times, uh, and it's doing a really, really good job until now. Yeah. I don't know what's happening maybe next year or, or tomorrow, but uh, until now it's, it's, uh, it makes exactly what it uh, used to do. Yeah. Um, so, it can switch from one source to the other, even if those sources are not really synchronized. It's doing a super decent job. Yeah, I, I never saw, and um, I can tell you, I have over there, I have a router, this, or a modem, a cable modem, and this cable modem is super sensitive to, um, to transfer times or uh, off, off times and also to... Um, unsynchronized phases, yeah, which I had uh, experienced with uh, when I tested with these inverters a little bit around, yeah. 
yeah but this switch i can tell you is is super fast and doing exactly what it should be it switches from one source to the other without having a, a, a step in between yeah so um stop let me show you what i have here i have i have the uh, other transfer switch it's a manual one but this transfer switch is um has three stages yeah it has one pv power one grid and one uh, zero so if you transfer from one source to the other you have to switch every time through the zero position and it's kind of locking there for for a millisecond because it's not going directly to the other side and this is quite weird and every time i switched over if i'm not f fast enough and and using enough force um it switched off some devices in my house yeah so um I will maybe stick with this here for maintenance reason because I can here switch directly from the grid if I need grid to PV and override everything which is which you can see in the in the other cabinet. So so this one is this cabinet is then out of power. Um, yeah, beside the inverter are powering it, but um, there's nothing coming from the other side. Yeah, good. Um, Okay, so let me show you let me show you what this transfer switch can do. Yeah, I'm I'm switching right now to manual, and um, I show you right now in, in manual mode. You can switch this really over and say manually switch to the to the other source. Yeah, and I'm doing this right now, and you can see the light flickering. But even sensitive devices are not doing anything about this. Yeah. And you can switch back and I'm back on the inverter. So I show you again, I switch off. So right now I'm, everything is powered by the inverters. And right now the inverters are not used anymore. Um, I'm going to grid, yeah. So next thing, this transfer switch prefers source A, yeah. So if both uh, and you can see here some connectors, yeah? Here's a connector and here's a connector. These are the, the connectors you you need to use um, for the automatic transfer, yeah? So in manual mode, nothing happens, yeah? In manual mode, oh, sorry. In manual mode, you can switch by your hand from this source to the other source, yeah? But there is the auto mode, yeah? And for the auto mode, you need this source here connected to these two contacts here and this source connected to these two contacts here and what it's it's doing in a in an auto mode it's preferring every time source a like i said before so if both are powered uh, source a is the main power supplier yeah? but what happens if source a is not available and source A is in this in in this setup my PV yeah and I'm doing right now here because there is the full power of the PV coming and if I'm switching this up you will see what's happening as soon photovoltaic is not available or something happens with the inverter it switches it's it switches over to a, a grid yeah and taking from the normal power uh, from a normal um, yeah grid provider yeah? power so i'm going back on yeah some of you might might say yeah eh, for what do you do you need that because the uh, grovat inverters can do this by themselves yes of course they can switch between grid and um uh, uh photovoltaic but what happens if an error appears on one of the grovat inverters or something with the battery bank happens to the Grovat inverters or the main fuse of my battery drips yeah and i will show this to you right now we are dripping the main battery power inverters are off this the light was flickering for a moment and the transfer switch switches over to grid so your wife will be happy with that because you have some back back backup uh, uh, power supply, and this is exactly what the grid should be. 
even if the grow rods are not controlling anything here yeah so what are we doing right now we are switching it back on and you see the grow rod inverter is coming back and give it a second and i hope you can see the the switch up there it takes a time the grow rod inverters are booting up then they start to synchronize then they start to get power back uh, owned give it a second takes a few whiles until the grow rods uh, doing anything right now and it takes another few seconds until the grow rod uh, taking over the power and then you saw the flip switch getting over and taking everything back to the photovoltaic source so this is a full automatic transfer switch which is a kind of backup solution for your whole house power yeah and again your wife will love you if you have this somehow installed in your house because even if something's happening to your power bank or to your photovoltaic input or to some of the overcurrent uh, devices or to your grow rod inverters uh, arrow or what whatever can happen this thing makes it possible that you have still power in your house and nothing happens to you so this is what I wanted to show you and um, yeah, I'm sorry, it looks pretty wild and don't do this at home. Um, yeah, you shouldn't do this and uh, should, should have closed this and uh, let this do someone who has really uh, knowledge of electricity. But um, yeah, I only want to share my, 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 my um, findings on how to make a Grover system much more reliable than it already is. Yeah. So with that said, um, I will clean up right now my table a little bit here because I hate this kind of uh, a mess um, and clean up the cables and hopefully in a few next days um, this mess is gone. So have a nice evening. Hope uh, it helped you and uh, yeah, see you in some of my next videos. Bye.